this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on accounting for branches dependent run data system. I wish to solve one sum here before you. Just observe the sum on the screen, which I wish to explain and solve. South Gujarat Trading Company of Surat has a branch at Balsar which sells goods for cash as well as on credit. Cash received from cash sales, cash received from debtors, income are to be remitted daily to head office. All branch expenses are directly paid by head office. But for PT disbursement, head office sends PT cash of rupees 100 at the beginning of each month. At the beginning of each month, 100 rupees are sent. So during a year, 1200 rupees are sent. Head office supplies goods to the branch at cost, but with a specific instruction to sell goods at 25% above the cost price. See, goods are sent at cost. With a specific instruction to sell them 25% above cost. Goods are not sent at an invoice price. Remember it. This is a sum wherein instruction is given to the brand to sell goods at 25% profit on cost. This is not a sum on invoice price. Remember it. Assuming that the branch has strictly followed this instruction, you are required to prepare branch account and the branch trading and profit and loss account for the year ended on 31st of March 2016. Now when this type of sum is there, where an instruction to sell goods at a specific percentage is given to the branch and the instruction is strictly followed. In such situation, remember, out of four things, one thing should be missing in the sum. Either opening stock is missing, or closing stock is missing, or goods sent is missing, or goods return is missing. Out of these four things, one thing is missing. Or sometimes, total sale may be missing. Because when, the, when you can work out the profit, then any one of the four, four or five things that will be missing. That's an important point to be understood by the students. Stock register has been stolen away and such value of closing stock is not available. As I told to you, you are told that in the sum itself. Now total sales, 1,20,800. This is a cash sales. On the basis of that, we can find out the credit sales. Remember, so now we have got the details of credit sales. We have got the details of closing debtors. So credit sales is available, closing debtors are available. And cash received from the debtors is available. What is missing? Opening balance of debtors is missing. That's an important point to be noticed by the students. Opening stock, goods and goods return. Closing stock is missing. This is the instruction of 25% profit above cost is to be charged off when the goods are sold by when the goods are sold by branch. So on the basis of that closing stock details are missing. That's an important point. Opening balance of petty cash is nil. Cash sent during the year 100 rupees per month or so 1200 rupees cash is sent for petty expenses. And closing balance of PT expense is 40. So out of 1200, 40 rupees is the closing balance. So 1160 rupees are the PT expenses. Now this is how I have tried to explain to different details. Wages and carriage are given to you. That's an item to be debited to profit and loss account. So you should distinguish stock account and trading account because of this wages and carriage. If this wages and carriage is not there, then stock account prepared to find out the missing item and the trading account prepared to find out the gross profit will be same. But here this wages and carriage is given to you implies that stock account and trading account will be different. Now let me start. This is branch account, working note, petty cash account, debtors account. Head office supplies goods to the branch at cost with specific instruction to sell goods at 25% above cost. So I'm required. This is an instruction given. Then and then in such situation, you should always prepare stock account in a working note. So I have prepared stock account in a working note to find out the closing stock, which is a missing item. That's an important point. Now let me start. 
opening stock 8000 stock is sent to the branch at the beginning of their branch account debit to stock account same stock will appear in stock account in working note petty cash balance is zero that i write in petty cash account nil goods sent to branch branch account debit to goods sent to branch account all branch expenses are directly paid by ho for petty disbursement head office sends petty cash opening balance is zero hundred to be sent per month so total petty cash sent 1200 so branch account debit to cash account and in petty cash cash received from ho 1200 will be recorded now goods sent to branch branch account debit to goods sent to branch account same will appear as purchases in stock accounts stock received goods returned by branch branch account is to be credited for that and this 4000 is deducted from goods and so net goods available to the branch for selling is one lakh goods and minus goods return now total sales that i write in the stock account cash received from cash sales is remitted so cash sales that's a remitted cash account debit to branch account credit then total sales minus cash sales is equal to credit sales that will be recorded in debtors account in a working note then comes goods written by customer to the branch so, so it's a sales return sales return is deducted from sales in stock account and the sales return is also recorded in debtors account now expenses paid by h on behalf of branch branch account debit to cash account cash paid for payment of rent cash paid for payment of salary cash paid for payment of wages cash paid for payment of rent and taxes cash paid for advertisement so branch account debit to cash account 10,000 are the expenses now bad debt previously return of record all incomes are remitted by branch to HO bad debt recovery is an income so cash account debit to branch account credit cash collections from debtors that will also appear in debtors account bad debt recovery is also remitted cash account debit to branch account credit bad debt recovery income because income are also remitted bad debts recorded on the credit side of debtors account in working note discount allowed to debtor discount disallowed to by the debtors discount disallowed will be recorded on the opposite side to discount allowed so discount disallowed will be debited to debtors account closing balance of debtors that is absorbed by head office so debtors account debit to branch account and same will be recorded as closing balance in a working note of debtors account petty cash closing balance that will also appear in the petty cash account closing balance payment side receipt payment closing balance and then petty cash is absorbed by the head office at the end of the year so branch account is credited for that now after recording this many details separate goods at 25 percent above cost so this is a net sales price in this sales price there is a profit element so you will get the cost of goods sold so if 100 is a cost and 25 is a profit 125 is a sales price if 125 is a sales price then 25 is a profit how much for 1 like 20,000 so 24,000 is a profit so I can deduct this 24,000 from 1 like 20, 1 like 20,000 to find out the cost of goods sold or I can write as well as to the debit side of stock account because it's a working note so even if I write on the debit side it's okay because it's a working note otherwise I should have deducted this 24,000 from 1 like 20,000 and 90,000 is the cost of goods sold will be recorded to the credit side of stock account but anyway it's a working note so 1 like 32,000 so this is the closing stock now this closing stock was a missing item that I'm required to write to the credit side of branch account so stock account debit to branch account credit 12,000 this is an important point to be understood by the student and you are required to prepare stock account under the circumstances when there is a specific instruction given to the brand to sell the goods at a certain percentage of profit that's an important point to be understood now stock account is done in by closing debtors account I'll find out the opening balance of debtors that I'm supposed to write at the beginning asset sent to the branch 
branch account debit to debtor's account credit 12,000. Now here I'll get the PT expenses that is going to be recorded in profit and loss account that I intend to prepare afterwards, but it won't appear in this branch account. Now total of credit side minus total of debit side, you will get the profit. So profit, net profit bought out is 11,540. So total of credit minus total of debit, 11,540 is the profit that I have worked out. Now I want to explain once again as usual. Shall I get the same profit if I prepare trading and profit and loss account? So now I start preparing trading and profit and loss account. This is a memorandum trading and profit and loss account. Let me start with the opening stock. Debit into trading account. Data's opening balance. Not recorded in trading and profit and loss account. Goods and recorded as purchases to the debit side of trading account. Rent debit into profit and loss account. Wage is debited to trading account. This is a difference between trading account and stock account. Notice it. Seller is debited to profit and loss account. Rent and tax is debited to profit and loss account. Advertisement expense is 1200 debited to profit and loss account. Cash and petty cash send will not appear in trading and profit and loss account. So it will be removed from here as well as from here. Net profit I am going to find out. Goods returned by brand deducted from goods and cash sales. Credit sales and cash sales both together total sales recorded to the credit side of trading account. Cash receipt from debtors cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account. Bad debt record is an income credited to profit and loss account. Closing stock will appear, credit side of trading account. Closing balance of debtors cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account. Same way, petty cash closing balance also cannot be recorded in this trading and profit and loss account. Petty expenses, debited to profit and loss account. Discount this allowed is an income credited to profit and loss account. Bad debts debited to profit and loss account. Sales return deducted from sales. So net sales is 120,000, discount allowed debited to profit and loss account. Find the gross profit, the gross profit will be 23,400. Because of this wages, gross profit has become 23,400, that is transport to the credit side of profit and loss account. Find out the net profit that works out to be 11,540 and here by preparing branch account also we have found out the profit to be 11,540. So this is how profit agreement is there under both the methods. So once again, I have tried to explain you this sum which has been calculated, which has been worked out under data's method. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to Allah.